Wesley, thank you for your willingness to share uh, an experience you've had in your business um, recently that I think is going to be very insightful to to a lot of folks watching this. So I'll let you share. I might ask a question or two. Go ahead and anytime you're ready. Awesome. Thank you, George. Uh, absolutely appreciate this course. I wish that market discovery was something that I had embraced at the beginning of my journey into yes. building out my business because Me too. I did it. <laughs> yeah. well, we learn from this, which is yeah. the benefit. Yeah. But when you said that we we make that mistake of building it in the closet, you know, what we're doing, we build it in the closet and then unveil it and just expecting people to go, oh my God, this is great. This is what I've been searching for. That was my biggest mistake I've made in the whole process. Now, I've learned a lot from this, and what I've gained is helping me now. But rather than building my business from the top down, which initially was an idea for creating evergreen courses, thinking that I could, you know, avoid as an introvert, I thought, now nah, I can avoid the things, you know, like, you know, the, the coaching and this and that. And I'll just have these courses and everybody's going to flock to them and go, oh, I've been waiting for this and this is gold. And I realized early on that there's no avoiding it, that I am at the core of this. I am coaching others. I have to lead and guide and be engaged in that. So I overcame those hurdles, but I was still intent on building this business from the top down. And time passed. I've been banging on this door for going on three years now. It's gone through multiple iterations. Mm -hmm a lot of niching and re-niching and, and iterating, but I've realized now, and especially with this course and some of the recent courses that you've been doing is the absolute necessity and value of building out your business from that bottom up learning. It's not the ideas that you have in your head that you think your market is going to want. It is engaging with them and understanding, you know, getting their feedback and then integrating that in with your own experience and what yes. you have to offer them, then you've got dynamite, you've got gold. They will yes. want that and yes. it will all build up from there. So I reference it as, you know, I'm building it up now from the bottom up and then the middle out and nice. the top will take care of itself. Right. So based on the feedback and the engagement that I get from my market, that'll determine the nature and structure of the courses that then I begin creating and offering. And yes. it's taking me all of this time to yes. arrive there. Right. But from that biggest mistake that I've made in my experience and approach, yes, what I've learned has brought me here now. And yes. I feel like this is the path. Everything yes. that you're suggesting here yeah. is worthy of embrace. Oh, I appreciate so much, Wesley. Thank you for sharing that. Market discovery is building the strongest foundation possible. I love that you talk about bottom up because, well, we're, how do we build? Yes, we might have a idea in the clouds, you know, like, oh, the dream castle in the cloud, like, oh yeah, that's where we're going. But we still have to build it from the bottom up, just like you said. And that creates a really strong foundation because it's built from relationships with our audience. And the relationships are what... Um, where they are willing to help us out by telling us, oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm, I'm still, I'm still looking for, and I haven't found. And then, oh, let me tell my friend about this. And you know what? Those relationships, once they're the stronger they are, the more they're willing to help you with your marketing. Number one, and buy when it's the right thing for them, and tell people about it. And so, yeah, let's let's do it from there. And thank you so much, Wesley, for your share. And, and I'll add to this because it's important yeah. as well. It's the net caring yes. and, and that consistent content creation and sharing yes. it and getting it out there. Yes. Part of that big mistake that I made was not doing that, of waiting until I had everything at the right. top level in yeah. place. And then I would start doing it. And that's been a mistake. My net caring efforts have been the most rewarding experience. The connections with niche mates yes. is put so much momentum into yeah. what I'm doing. And I, I just can't encourage people enough to really focus on getting that content out there and published consistently, but doing the outreach and the engagement and the net caring. It, yeah. It's a fantastic experience. So thank you, George, for everything that you've done with this course and with everything else that you've done. Yeah. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, Wesley. Appreciate you.